Okay, so we're going to show here. Here are the C minor chords. Tonic. And those correspond to these first five enumerated tonic chords for the C minor. And then we have the subdominants and the dominants and all the way down to the bottom. So we have finished adding all 56 chords to this scale. And we've added that to our checklist. There's the 56. We have 19 minor chords, 19 major, and 18 full chords. Total of 56. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 52, Immediacy. In today's episode, we re-entered focusing on the idea that we're kind of intrigued with called musical immediacy. Um, immediate means nothing in the middle. M means not immediate in the middle. What would it be like to express musically immediately? Well, for one thing, you might just start singing da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da like that. But it seems like there's always an element of memory when we are singing or playing or whatever. So no matter how live and impromptu and immediate you are, we're not just playing a recording, we're actually beating on the keyboard or blowing on the recorder, that there's a little memory, we're remembering what to play next. There's some kind of back and forth. So that's what this little diagram is. And let's see if we can just blow it up temporarily. So the idea is that, that there's a self, the musician, and an other, the audience. There's a speaking or playing of the music, and there's a hearing of the music going on. But they're kind of all tied together as a unit. So even the, the listener is recreating what the speaker is saying, and the speaker is kind of recreating in their mind what they think the listener is hearing. So it's all immediate. It's in the immediate flow. So memory and future are tied together just as much. So that's about as, as, as best we can currently uh, put into words what, we th what we're thinking about the idea of immediacy. But immediate, musical immediacy is intriguing us a whole lot, and we want to we wanna work with that. The second thing we spent a lot of time on is, as we just showed at the introduction, we, took, um, we finished enumerating all 56 chords. In the last stream, we were left with this little tally sheet up here, but we hadn't fleshed out more than about six of them. So we put all of them in here, and, and, and they are like grinding uh, minerals into colored pigments. And then we took these pigments on the left and we mixed them with solvents and diluents and basically made them something playable like that. And then we went ahead and kind of stuck on the end of our improvisation of the last series, we put together a little, uh, some trial cadences and backbones and polyphones with some themes to them. So what we're gonna do is play this kind of combination piece, which is our it's our, it's our new hexatonic scale. We're gonna we're gonna play the the uh, the pentatonic one six six one and the hexatonic one six six one scales, and then we're gonna play some chords for you. Here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about what we did today, two things. We stuck with it and got all 50 scores, chords, 56 chords on the score. 
to begin working with. B, we like working with it. And where we want to go next is uh, we, we know darn well some of these chords cannot be done in that pentatonic. We, you know, the, the A and the B flat are not in the pentatonic scale. They were added. So um, we want to we want to kind of clone this off and make a new improvisation where we work with the two scales. So that's the basic idea for what to, what to do next. Um, we also spent a little time today showing you exactly how our mixer works here. And we're going to test that later on today. We're going to um, we're going to have open mic. I'm going to play some work for them, trying the new system. A shout out to DVA Mechanics who came back and lurked for a bit. His words, not ours. Do come back to see what happens next. Do take care and do keep on streaming.